एवरी वन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट मार्केटिंग इट सेड की मार्केटिंग कंसेप्ट नाउ outdated market is being shifted to something else this and that so today we have with us uh, dr sharma so sir sir is the assistant uh, dean academics no associate dean, dean academics. academics at vbs college so sir, we need to know about you complete detail about that ki main marketing karna chahta hu ki jaau ki na jaau kya kiya jaye uh, marketing as a as a function is going to is eternal it is going to remain Good. only the difference what is coming is the technology so technology has impacted all the areas of our living management also of course so if you look at finance if you look at hr if you look at operations and of course marketing will not remain immune to it so technology is becoming a, a spearhead in all the functions and marketing is not immune to that so today i mean we also grapple with this issues so we know about marketing when it comes to technology uh, this technology is a big disruptor so you talk about data you talk about um, using technology in understanding this data and once you understand what is happening through the software through the hardware which collectively is the analytics mm-hmm. then you have to go further and you have to take actions on that so that also is getting automated so we have got fields of marketing marketing analytics then marketing automation uh, if you look at finance uh, typically you have got all numbers Hmm. and we have got a conception that marketing does not have number but today that is getting shattered so there is a, a a new area which earlier was there also so we have got marketing metrics so as you have got ratio analysis in finance we have got metrics in marketing so whatever you are deciding whatever you are doing that is all based on metrics Correct. so there is a definite shift as a function marketing will be eternal what is changing is, is that we should not now go on the gut feeling of course if you have got experience your gut feeling carries lot of value but today technology has come into marketing also and today we have got concepts like i mean marketing four so we talk about uh, marketing science marketing engineering quants in marketing so this all basically says that now earlier it was an art but now there is some science, science to this art which is coming and i mean as a society as a college we should not remain away from it because if we are not adopting it we are not going to add value to our students right. and we base always have been upfront in all these things including certification analytics ko add kiya beech mein yes we 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 uh, um, see if we are we have to teach something which is relevant and we have to teach the tools which the companies are operating and companies are forced to operate so they look that kind of a skill so at vbs what we do is we always look for the best practices or the next practices which comes across uh, which which many colleges better be good colleges across the globe they do we also try to follow them we also fa- try to explore this so we were one of the first colleges and is official also we can i mean search we were first colleges which introduced analytics way before many of the colleges College they thought of right. and today we have got a good progress in analytics we have got a good traction there when we talk about pedagogy i mean uh, we have our own pedagogical tools which are unique which i'll share with you so we have got uh, i mean actually students they go in the marketplace and they sell so they get the real feeling we have got simulation so if you teach management uh of course you can uh, learn through role play discussion case studies whatever is the tool but one of the tool which is becoming very important simulation so one of the real simulation is you throw the student in the world and let them learn it of course it has to be guided uh, from the professor from the college it cannot be totally unstructured so a lot of experiential learning is there and one of the one ways of uh, creating this in, uh, experiential learning is through simulation so we have invested so simulation make a tools using the tools or the experiential learning so i'll give you example of what is uh, yeah a simulation like if you go you want to learn how to trade in stock market so i mean uh, there are softwares where i mean you will be given some money the college will give you some money some dummy money and using that money you will invest in the real stock market and you generate the returns and then you can make a comparison across all the students okay, wow. who have generated so that is there in marketing which is many okay, colleges okay. Does. sorry in finance many colleges does but when you come to marketing when you come to strategic management this kind of simulation can be done only if you are there in that field that is one way second way is 
we have got a software and the software will change all the situation and the student will sit there in groups or individual and they'll try to uh, figure out what is happening based on the data which is being thrown so it is random and based on that is somebody who's taking the right decisions and that is coming out correct it means this student has learned the concept so yeah. conceptual learning will be say 20 percent 30 percent in the classroom and once that is done you go and experience out in the world many times you uh, see we cannot go and talk to ceos we cannot really have all the information of the world which we try to do but simulation is a way where actually students get a learning of what is going to happen right so you don't have to go in the flight to you have got a simulator and uh, the trainer knows this student has correct, learned correct, correct. so that simulation we do in our college great, also great, great, great. so uh, last date is apply offer to apply for the college is approaching so in case you want to apply link us ka uh, description box mein dal diya maine okay so they want to apply for the program and sir uh, we are talking about the cap some cap uh, project so uh, yes yes so that again see uh, if we look at the entire pedagogy uh, we have to have this experiential learning so if you look at the entire experiential learning how it pans out in our college and i'm proud of that uh, about vivekanand because we are really uh, i mean uh, very serious about this because if we have to really uh, top the uh, charts in b school ranking the way out is that you should give experiential learning so how it starts in our college is point number one the moment you enter you are taken for induction in this induction for two days we are giving you the experiential learning so once that is done you are in the college of course the classroom again we try to have a lot of uh, experiential learning but one of the uh, i mean we am proud of that is we have got a program called a salon so there the student is again uh, send out uh, outside we give them some products this is sold out by them of course this ha ye ye product bhi na ngo banata it is not commercial okay, we are not nice, trying to make nice, any money out of this right. so we are helping the ngo and we are helping the students to actually go out and sell once the, and then we have got lot of testimonials with the students say sir hamara na wo ice breaking session jo hota hai i mean not ice breaking i mean hamare mann mein duvidha hoti hai matlab duvidha nikal jati hai because we are going in the marketing selling so that is the second part then the third part which is the flagship and all the colleges do that is your uh, student internship program summer internship program oh. sip that is for two months two months so again uh, students they go in the company then they see the atmosphere what is the politics then traveling and what are the i mean how the company works they get a first hand and the reality view of how the company operates so there they stay for two months they again come back then uh, then then we have got a project called the uva for seva where again a, a student goes in the ngo and he works for 15 days and then he understands what is the problem of the company which they have seen in the sip what is the problem of the society they say in uva for seva so that is the third uh, i mean good uh, things what uh, thing what we do and finally there is a 3 months summer inter uh, management internship program where the student goes in a company and now he really works in a department as if he is going to work in that department further wow. so that is the capstone project so that is 3 months right. so whether the student is going for 2 months whether the student is going for 3 months whether the student is going for 15 days whether the student is going for induction it is not that we are leaving the students the student is in the mic is in in spotlight in the spotlight of a mentor the mentor is seeing the progress it is tracked so we have got all those metrics to track the student and see what is the progress of the student so finally after the mip i mean again i mean the student is ready 80 to 90% because i mean you cannot make him 100% ready you become 100% ready only if you attain a certain age of 40 years 45 years and you are in the industry for a long period of time but we make the industry great sir so thank you very much for talking to us